Okay, fine. Um, and that's a that is a bitch of an R and R on that engine too. What's R and R? Uh, remove and replace. Yeah, you might want to write that down. Yeah. R and R is remove and replace. R and R. R and R. So, what you need to understand is that's a whole hell of a lot of work. If I'd had professionals do that work, it would have cost five grand. So, um, easy. <clears throat> but the thing is, and it's like I told my wife um, a couple of months ago, she had a Ford Taurus station wagon. I said, you know what? If this thing starts having transmission problems, you need to get rid of it right away. Because the thing is, the transmissions in those are like 2400 bucks. Well, that's about 700 bucks worth more than the car is worth, right? Not to mention your labor is still on the R&R. &R. Now, some people are idiots. Yeah. Some people are idiots. They will gladly put $3,000 into an $800 car. People do it all the time because they are pindukos. That's just their only way around it. Yes. For some, re some, for some reason, they think it's, oh, it's a challenge to my manliness to get this car, to keep this car running. Not me. You know what? I don't. I don't love no cars. Emotional value. Yeah, exactly. I don't love no cars. A car is there to serve me, and if it quits serving me, get you another throw car. Gutter and go buy another. <laughs> There's a lot of cars in this. Not like a woman. You don't have attachments. Yeah. So my point was. So my. <laughs> So, my point was that, uh, you know, on everything like this, you got to do economic analysis and see what makes sense. So the first thing you need to do is bring your vehicle in or bring whatever vehicle you're driving and find out what's going on with it. And the only way you're going to do that is by taking it apart. Yeah, I know why Jack has to sit in the back row. I do. Uh -huh. Yeah, please explain to me why. So they can pull crap like that. <laughs> so my point was that we're talking about brakes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, um, the point of the return springs is to pull the shoes off the drums. Which is why if I have a car with drum brakes and I spin the tire, it should, it should spin, spin free. Semi -free. What's the only thing that's going to restrict the rotation the shoes. of, nope, the yes. give me 25 cents, nope. What's the only thing that's going to determine the, the, um, the resistance of the tire to spinning on a drum brake system? The factor applied? The drum brake system? What? No, the return springs have pulled the shoes oh. off of the drum. You, uh, I mean, if I started spinning, it's not going to spin it forever, right? Yeah. The force the applied, friction, friction stopping. Stop friction. Stop friction. Nope. What? Friction? Well, would they be friction? Because it's not really hitting the thing. The bearing? Oh. Yeah. It's the friction in the bearings. All right. What's going to determine the friction in the bearings? Grease. Good or bad? Grease the hub is. How tight it is, whether they're adjusted or not. The grease. Whether grease. Grease. Good. But basically we would say that um, there's going to be uh, negligible friction um, uh, resisting the turning of this wheel on a drum brake system. That's important because that's not true about a disc brake system. Uh, that's why I bring it up. So the resistance is going to be in the um, bearings. Okay. And here... And here, large pins. Well, let me put it this way. It goes like that, and that, and that. Your retainer springs and lock pins. It's called anchor pins. This comes like this, comes up like that. That's called your anchor. Pins, anchor pin assembly. I thought they were locked that, pins. That is that. Well, you were wrong. Well, that's what I get for what's his name teaching me breaks. Who? Uh, start with an S. Sidey? No, it was an Asian dude back in the well, late 90s. Oh, there you go. 
So uh, he was a teacher there in East LA. Uh, no, it's probably going after that, but it has to do with breaks too. And the transaction control, the control system. What? The tra a traction control. Traction system. control. Yeah. Okay, that's ABS. Uh, now, okay, so I got yelled at today. I got yelled at today because I was stealing students, I guess. What? I got yelled at about you. I got yelled at about you. You at all. Yeah, because I'm a student thief. Well, that's what about me? I've seen him. He walks from what about me? Like you're doing something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, I, I stole <laughs> you too, right? Yeah. Nobody has any uh, free oh, will. Oh, yeah, from this time. They yelled at you? Uh, he started, but he knew better. <laughs> so the point I was trying to make was... <coughs> the point I was trying to make was, before we learn analog brake systems, wouldn't it be smart if we learned about brake, brake systems? systems yeah. Right? Because the point I was trying to make was, before we learned about automotive electronics, wouldn't it be smart if we learned about cars? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's the whole way it's supposed to go, too, but, you know, some people are always trying to figure out a way to blame you for all their problems. Well, I have to edit that out.